Alright. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. I'm your host, Ace Barrett King. This is our friend Shanks Ryota. And uh we are going to go deliver some fleece to a guy at a place. Isn't that exciting? Alright, and jump. Whee! Bam! Probably the one, I don't know if it's the last one I'm gonna record today, but it's the last one I'm gonna record for now because I'm hungry and hot. Um, so. Oh, yawn. Anywho. People! What's up, people? Hello, people! You! What is up? Nice hair. Breathtaking, is it not? Proud sails turning, rugged gears turning. The mill never mill never stops, and neither can the mill, and so neither can the millers assigned to its upkeep. Vigilance is the key. By addressing tomorrow's issues today, we assure the wheels of prosperity continue to grind. Unfortunately, I've had my hands full with the work of the day and cannot leave my station to attend to it, tend to its inspection. I would entrust this duty to you. Seek out the other three millers, heed their concerns, then a prize wait, uh, waits on one of your findings. So, a miller with no fle fleece is an artist with no canvas, a poet with no words, a man with no purpose. Here, take this. Curse that blasted courier. Do, do the sheep stop growing? Does the mill stop churning? What entitles him to rest? Bah, let him count sheep in his bed. The wool is at last mine, and soon the filth shall be wrought. Mwahaha. Okay, thank you. Hi. Now, felting wool is all well, done, well and good for your run-of-the-mill miller, but you know it gets my grindstone spinning grain. What worth has wheat? None, but one shred into fabulous flour, even the confounded Galagos can't keep their hands off of it. Which is precisely why I need you to slay them and cover the four sacks they pilfered. Once you have done so, take the sacks of flour down to the stead and scarn mar... Yeah, Scarnmar will take care of the rest. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Tell something tells me this episode is going to be a lot of running back and forth between the same three locations. Isn't that fun? Hello, not you. Hello, hello, hello. Flag overhead. Hello, hello, hello. Eh, shoo shoo. What's up? I haven't noticed anything knock myself. Let's have a look now, shall we? Hmm, look there, the sail's been nicked a bit. Nothing urgent, mind you. The cloth we use is the same they use for sails out in the sea, made to stand up to the bless to bluster and wind. Cool. Ain't that neat. Uh do 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 hello. Oh, I wanna be very careful with this bat. I don't want it to attack me, because it will one shot me. Ah the way Okay. Shaw, the mill is fine. We'd be wiser to concern ourselves with the grubby scavengers that rob us of our yield. Okay. And then this away. Alrighty. Excuse me, Mr. Dono. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hi. Uh, well, you see the mail spinning, don't you? What more do you need to know? The only problem I have is you meddle in my chores. I'll wait with you then. Okay, rude. Bye. We'll kill some monkeys. Over here, 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 here. No. Alright. Um, yeah, let go.
Okay, beautiful. One more. Okay. Oh, cool. Hunting log. Sorry, I keep yawning. I'll go over here, talk to this person. Birds! Oh, they're on mountain walk. Gotta kill them. repeat itself ad nauseum until we're all dead. Hello. Uh, I trust you enjoyed the tour of the mill. You are impressed, yes? Uh, the matter of a shushu sale is most worrisome indeed. The matter shall be remedied at once. To delay acting until trouble occurs is to ask for trouble. The Grey Fleet stops for nothing. Full sail ahead. Okay. Thank you for food. Hi. Um... The kobold crimes of late give us ample cause for concern. Yet White, uh, White Zarin is content to pass them off as mere mischief making. He cares more for the welfare of his mills than that of his workers. If o only my beloved Mogram knew of my plight, I'm certain he would uh, leap to my rescue all the way from his post at the Red Rooster's Dead. Sorry about that. He often calls me his little lamb, and I'm certain my absence could only have made his heart go fonder. Uh, okay. He's a creeper guy, you know. I. But, um, um, whatever. No accounting for taste. Let's go. Still have no shoes. Still have not gotten better shoes. I still have my, my bunny feet shoes. Eh, it's fine. Whee! Running faster! Ignoring bat! Trying not to get one shot. I don't want to die! What's up, Skarnmar? All the eggs and milk in the world don't matter look without flour. There you go. Not that flour's any good on its own, mind you. The Galagos just hoard whatever they can get their filthy paws on. But now we've got the whole kitten caboodle thanks to you. So believe you were around, and at the end of the day we're still utterly unprepared should this sort of thing happen again. Oh yeah, that that sucks, man. That that's pretty damn shitty. Thank you. Uh, I keep watch over the gates here at the stead, but my watch it extends only so far. The stagecoach that was uh, supposed to pull in today never made it past by an uh, iron mine. So word arrived not long ago that it was relayed by someone or something. The coachman is a plucky fellow. If I know Wahoy Mahoy, he'll be uh, poking around the mines, plotting to salvage his consignment. But ultimately, he is just one man. It would put my mind at ease if you would go to his aid. Okay. We have to go. Hey, guy. Hello, creepy guy! What's up? I've got a word for you. Indeed, the kobold's steady incursion, z incursions weren't wearing this. And now they've frightened my poor little lamb, the soul I love more than any other on two legs. We must summon the yellow jackets at once. I shall pen the missive warning, uh, warning Ostifer, Ostifer of the kobold's advance. You must deliver it to the Lothagun checkpoint. There's no time to spare. To reach the Lothogun checkpoint, go first to Blind Iron Mines. Uh, Brone Root will guide you from there. Okay, I know where to go. Thank you. Uh, whoop. That one's going to... It's going to be a while before that one gets delivered because it's in another area and I don't want to go there yet. So let's 
Let's go to mine. Wee! Ow! And hop the fence. Nope, hop it. There we go. Do, 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 do. Running, running, running. Round, around, around. Over, over, over. This way, this way, this way. And then more this way. Over here. to this people first. Hi, guy. Oh, look. Hunting log. Whoa. Uh, you must be the help this guard mar sent. I thought you'd never get here. The kobold stuck me up and skedaddled with the garments, but don't you worry, none. I'm fixing to get them back so we can get them back. Uh, all you gotta do is mosey on up close to the stagecoach. They, they hit and peek in, and you bet your bottom gill those kobolds are come a-calling. And once some creatures come out, fuck, you pop them in the jaw and snag the loot. It's foolproof. Uh -huh, I'm sure it is. Alright, what's up, man? Bound for the Lothogon checkpoint? You've come to the right mines. You'll come find that most denizens of the dark will leave you be so long as you extend them the same courtesy, but kobolds can be more, a bit more belligerent. Still, nothing an adventure of your venturesomeness can't handle it, I suppose. Okay. Um, well, this time we've dug ourselves into our hole well and truly. Struck brimstone while shoveling through the mines, and now the rocks are just right for the re reek of rotten eggs. Ew. The gas grew to be too much to bear. You'll need this, this clear earth crystal if you're to restore the earth and plug the leak properly. Just mind the surface clouds brought on by the brimstone. Okay. Let's kill the bat first. is already fighting things from that so I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on that until after I finish the flip stuff. Where are you? That's the wrong tunnel here. What? No? Over here? Oh here I see it. Okay. Um uh, here we go. Oh I ran out of food. So rude. Okay, now it's it. All right, I need to eat food. Hey, that was a muffin. That was a muffin he ate. My Makoti eats a um, eats a kebab. And so does my Elizabeth. Does it? Curious. Okay, thank you. Makes sense for the Makoti to eat kebabs because they're um, stated in the universe to be Makoti food. Um, specifically, keeper food, but uh, huh, it's interesting that the male Vieira eats a, a, a muffin. I don't know if the female Vieira does because I haven't played one.
because playing female characters gives me dysphoria. So I don't play them very often. I mean, I have my cat girl, but uh, that's different because Derp Neko cute, so it's okay. Except for. Alrighty. Hello, hello! What's up, man? Now that's a breath of fresh air. For many of the miners, a bit of stone is nothing to write home about, but I'm the one who has to write the letters when the gluttons choke to death down there. The price is metals command in the wake of the calamity will make us either rich or dead. Yeah, that sucks, man. I, uh, I, oh, thank you for the boots. Love boots. Boots are nice. Yes, 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 I know. Okay, thank you. Hello. You have done good, partner. I rounded up enough to bring back to the stead, I reckon. I'll tend to the rest of this year mess. You go on and make sure, uh, make sure old Scar and Mark gets the goods. Hi, right, thank you. Alrighty, lagging again. Um, we'll do the level 10 Arcanist quest uh, in the next episode. Um, so probably episode 3 is just going to be finishing doing the level 10 Arcanist quest and then, well, We'll talk about it in that episode. But uh, I will say that it's not getting getting back to the main plot. That's not probably going to happen until episode 4. Wait, this is episode 3. Episode 5 will be getting back to the main quest. Episode 4 will be job stuff. Wee. Huh, Cammy? Cammy did... Oh, yeah, sure, Daddy, whatever you say. And that's right, it is whatever I say. Because I'm Daddy. What Daddy says goes. Alright, where are you? Scarred Mark. Scarred Mark, load in. Load in. Oh my god. Hi. Good to see you turned to us unharmed. There you go. And with the full bags, no less. I am grateful, but I fear this is hardly the last you all we all hear of the kobolds. They have been growing more restless in recent moons, and this trend is like to continue. And I must be apprised of this in incident. War is at our doorstep. Okay. Wee! Hi, guy! Bad news. So the kobolds are at it again. Not content with their own territory, the creatures have been pouring forth from their subterranean dwellings to wreak havoc on moments and land. But we won't stand for it. Our livelihoods are at stake. Alas, with neither side willing to give any ground, I fear there may be no peaceful resolution. Yeah, yeah that sucks, man. Okay, these... Um, these accessories are useless. The first round of accessories they give you, you you're not gonna need. Just get the money. Take the money. Uh, we've seen with the, our own eyes how the kobolds have taken up arms against us. Or you've seen it, even. The mines of Ogomoro aren't enough for, for the native nuisances of North, northern Vilbrand anymore. They've come to claim what is ours. Long ago, our ward weary forebears stuck a short-sighted piece with the kobolds. What lay beneath the sea was to be limbses. What lay underground was to be Ogomoros. You know, this sounds awful, not awful lot like they've come to claim what is theirs. Yet what resolved one conflict we created another, as the sea cannot fully feed, clothe, and shelter the children of the land. Realizing this, the kobolds tacitly condoned the Lomits and settlement of Lenosha. We shared an unspoken agreement. But now the kobolds aggressively assert their dominion, threatening our very survival. Yeah, and it, it seems their right to do so. Adherence to a pact is meaningless if it means our demise. It comes time for us to take a stand. Seek the wisdom of Aaron Lower to learn how. Okay, I mean, they're kind of in the right here, but I'll go along with this because I'm getting paid. So, hi. Hello, so Anarch has uh, at last abandoned the naive hope that the kobold menace would debate of its own accord. Their numbers have increased manifold as they expand southward. The food shortage is spurred by overpopulation quickened the cycle of aggression. A common beggar would know better than to expect foodstuffs aboard a stagecoach bound for the stead, but the filthy scamps grow desperate. We need only set the bait, and their hunger will be their undoing. Tell Anok to make their arrangements. Why don't you tell him? You guys, they're right here. Well, you guys can talk to each other. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, my God. Ingenious. We'll trap the hungry kobolds as one would any rodent. And I know just the bait to set. Tell Skarnmar to set, uh, set aside some dodo meat for my feet. <laughs> Not that 
So I'm going to do that and blend iron mines and not the little blood. And the little gluttons won't be able to resist. Okay, god damn these fucking people. Make me run all around. They're five feet from each other. Okay, hi. I had dead dodo to you and you kill kobolds for me. A bargain if I ever heard one. Take this over to Quabadi, south of the mine. She'll know where it goes. Okay. Finally, some place where you couldn't just go to yourself. It's not in shouty distance. Whee! Ow! Lagging again! Cammy, what are you doing? I know I love you. You're a good boy. He's, he's waiting for me to settle back into my chair so that he can climb on me. He can't sit on me if I'm um, sitting up. Oh my god, there's that thingy moved. The bad bat. I don't want to deal with the bad bat. The bat will kill me. There's a part of hunts, which is something I've never really done. Um, I mean, I know that you can get good stuff out of it. I just I can't be bothered. I mean, I'll do them eventually, just not yet. Maybe on his character I'll do him. Who knows? What's up, man? Uh, good to see the Red Rooster Stead hasn't turned chicken on us. Once you've found a good hiding spot, open the crate of meat nearby. The kobolds will follow their noses. By the time they see you, it'll be too late. Okay. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Going around. These bats are quite large. Turn in around the corner. Oh, look, this person's doing the same thing as me. How exciting! You can smell the sexual tension. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Standing watch. Huh? Huh? Looking around. Okay. I sense a hostile presence. Technically, I am the hostile presence because I am the one who kind of pulled this shit on them. Alright. the aggressor here. There's one more. Where are you? Oh, they are. La la la. Do, 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 do. Okay. And dead. Bye. Back to Anok. I don't feel, I feel like I'm not pronouncing that right, but uh, it doesn't matter. Because um, after this quest chain, we'll never speak to him again. What? Wait, no, maybe we will. Yeah, I think he's evolved in, in something later on, but... Eh. It's fine, whatever. Who cares? Alright, we're going, 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 running, 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 running. La 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 la. What are you doing? Oh yeah? Oh yeah, come level 10, I can use talk about borders now. How exciting. Yes, yes, I don't care. Bye. Alright. Going up here. Bam. Hi guy. Killed your kobolds. Haha, -ha, you've done it. I expected no less. I don't know what we'd have done without you, which makes me wonder what we will do once you've gone. Uh, figure your own shit out, I hope. I was hoping you might visit the drowning wrench and speak with Batteron. It's no secret that the Yellow Jackets pay him heed. Mayhap he would put in a word so that the stead might procure their protection. Hey, maybe. Bye. Okay. Um, let us... We gotta go do the thing and talk to the guy, and then he's gonna send us someplace else, and then we'll go to there, and then we'll talk to that guy, and then after we turn into this quest about on, that'll be the end of the episode. 
I have no idea how long it'll be because, again, OBS is not telling me how long I've been recording for. Maybe it'll be on the short end, maybe it'll be on the long end. Because I'm aiming for 45 minutes to an hour per episode. I'm feeling like these last two are not going to make that. Um, it's possible that starting next episode I'm going to have to, like, uh, run my own timer. You know, whatever, it's fine. Hey, um, sleeping. He's like, it's hot in here, Daddy. Yeah, I know. I don't want to turn the fans off any any higher because I don't even really want them to be on because you can hear it on the recording. Wee, but it's too hot for them to not be on because I live in the middle. I live in the desert. Yeah. Scratch, 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 scratch. Alrighty, talking to this guy. What's up, man? They say messengers through the mines rise faster than the crow flies from the stead. It is good to see you. Here you go, take this. I hadn't realized the extent of the cold bolt medis, but Mogram's missive it has opened my eyes. Should we fail to bolster our patrols of the Lenotian lowlands now, we stand to lose the region altogether. I have not forgotten when the kobolds sought to seize the west. Twould be best those there know their former nemesis as you serviced. Though still were no doubt and remains vigilant, I would ask you visit Summerford Farms and remind him that sleeping dogs may not be content to lie. Okay. And then we will go and do that. There is another quest to pick up in that area, but I'm not going to pick it up just yet. Um, because, spoiler alert, Badawan's going to send us back to, right back to him. Um, so, that'll wait. Lambs! Getting land for my hunting log. Huzzah. Alright, that should be all. Yep. Alright. Uh, do 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 do. Ugh, I say ugh. Run faster. Do, 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 do. Another bad guy! Whee! At least killing all these hunting log things keeps this traveling a little bit less tedious. shot for, um, thumbnail for this episode. Alrighty. Ooh, upskirt! Ooh, a panty shot! Alright, let's go. Alrighty. Running, running, running. Striking dummies are something you can use to practice your skills. They're, they're okay. There's one over there. I, that, that's why I'm picking it up. Um, I'm talking about them all of a sudden because they're over there. Yeah, you can use them to practice your skills if you, when you get into class if you need to. Teleport learned! Boom! Hey, guy! Hi! Uh, Ostfer's prudence befits his post. The Watchmen's always seen threats far over the horizon. Which is all well and good, but the Sahagans swarming at our gates demand my immediate attention before ugly heads that haven't reared themselves in recent memory. Still, I know better than to disregard the bidding of the yellow jackets. Cool. Uh, thank you. Okay, bye. 
Yeah, these things. The the striking dummies. You use them to practice your uh, rotations and stuff. And see what your skill does when you're learning it. Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, no. Because I can use this. Hooray! Actually, no. No, 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 don't. Actually, yes. Do, 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 do. Okay. Cammy! 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 No? You don't want me. Oh, I'm bleeding. I was scratching at a, 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 a scrape and um, I opened it up. Oh well. Okay. Let's head. Stairs to talk to batter on. Do, 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 do. Just away. Hey, hey, guys. <laughs> I know, Cammy. It's so rude for him to go and take a break when I need him to let me up the fucking elevator. Thank you, Christ. Here I am trying to save the world. These guys want to go on break. Tammy, what? You're a baby, Cammy. You are a baby boy. You're just little and not big at all. You gotta fall through the hole and then Daddy will laugh at you. Don't knock my stuff off my desk. That's rude. No, it is rude! It is! Do 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 do. Come on, Bateron. I want to go eat something. <gasps> a person. He's a Hure. I've never played a Hure. It's not interest me to do so. Hey, man. So the studs in over there is with the kobolds, are they? was wishful thinking to believe the mine rats would stay put in Ogomoro. Any barkeep can tell you as the rodents are want to spread. This wave just comes sooner than reckoned. The pact was a farce and no handshake ever solved the blood feud. We just needed to lick our wounds a while is all. Well, I suppose they're all healed up. Even the maelstrom's taken note of how the rascals run rampant. You can be sure they're ordering crystals to summon Titan and God's help us if they do. Let them so I'll look back on these petty thefts and skirmishes as the good old day times and bad day comes, I tell ya. And there won't be no be a company of heroes around to answer our prayers this time neither. Well, an ons of prevention's worth a pawns of cure. I'll talk to the yellow jackets and see if they can't slow the kobold advance on the stead. Okay. Have fun with that. Alright, give me the money. Beep! Tammy's a baby! Alright guys, and that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to do job stuff. So, everybody take care, and have yourselves a good goddamn day. Bye!